All right, uh, mean variance and standard deviation for a probability distribution. So I'll go back to this basketball example because I, I don't know, it kind of makes sense in the season we're in. But a certain basketball player can make uh, seven free throws out of ten. Uh, can makes, nice. <laughs> Sorry about my English. Find the probability distribution for the number of points scored shooting two from the free throw line. Then find the mean, variance, and standard deviation. All right. So first off, we'll set up the probability distribution. Uh, in this text, nicely enough, they will go ahead and give you that uh, distribution. But uh, x is going to be, um, here's my distribution, but x is going to be the number of points scored. Uh, and we're shooting two. So I'll start out and create, uh, I like the, I like to use a, a tree diagram, excuse me. And so you're standing here at the free throw line, you have two choices. You could either make the basket, which would score you one point, or miss the basket, which would score you zero points. And uh, we have a 70% chance, or 0.7% chance of making a point, one point there, and we have a 30% or 0.3% chance of missing the basket. Now you get another shot, so you also have another set of two choices where you get another point, um, which would be a 70% chance, or now you could have possibly missed it, which would be a 0.3% chance. Then also, again, if you would have missed it, you could have two choices. You could make the last shot, save some of your dignity, and that has a 0.7% chance for that one shot, and you could also miss it, and choke, choke completely. And you got a 30.3% uh, chance of that happening, 0 0.3. So we've got uh, four possibilities here. One, two, three, four. So this would be two points, which would be 0.7 for the first shot times 0.7 for the second shot, which would be 0.49. Okay, this one is if you score one point, and this one is if you score one point, and you've got a 0.3 times 0.7 percent chance, oh nope, I went the wrong order for this one, because the first shot you made it, so you had 0.7 times 0.3, which is 0.21, and then the second one is 0.7 times 0.3, point, well, and again, like I said, commutative property here holds, but we'll keep it the same, keep the same order. 0.3 times 0.7, which would also equal 0.21, that's making one point in both of those cases. And then the last one is Chokesville, zero points, and in that case it's 0.3 times 0 0.3, which is 0 0.06. And I always like to double check to make sure I have a, all my cases or 100% of my distribution. You should be able to add these up. Like here, you know, this is your chances of making one point. You add these two together. So there is a full 0.42 chance of um, scoring one point. Two points, you got a 0.49 chance. So now we're up to 0.991. Uh, Uh-oh. Let's double check that. 0 0.42, 0 0.42, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Oh, I can't multiply. See, it's good that you double checked, or I double checked, because I'm an idiot. Can't multiply. But we'll go up here, <laughs> 0 .03, 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, I need to start doing these videos in the morning when my brain's a little fresher, is point, maybe it wouldn't help, 0 0.09. And so now you can add those up, 
thank the Lord, and they'll add up to, to 1. So 0 0.49, 0 0.42, and 0 0.09 now is 1. So, okay. So we've got the distribution created. So I'm going to create a uh, probability distribution table. So X is our points again. And so you've got three choices. You could score zero, point, zero points, one point, or two points. And the probability of that occurring, we already figured out, is 0 0.09 for zero, for scoring zero points. Um, you've got 0 0.42 for scoring one point, and you've got 0 0.49 for scoring both your points. Now to calculate the mean, I'm not even going to get into the formula. It's actually pretty easy. It's kind of created, it's just about like, um, it's like weighted average, which... Um, it is really weighted average. So you score, so my mean, and I'll use mu here, 0 times 0 0.09 plus 1 times 0 0.42 plus 2 times 0.49. Okay, and then just calculate that. Okay, and so what you have here is uh, you go ahead and calculate all this. So that's 0 plus 0.42 uh, plus point, that'd be 8, 1, point 0.98, and that gives you 1.4. So our mean in this case of scoring when we, you have a 1.4 point, 1.4 average in this probability distribution, or mean. Okay, so then we go to, to variance. And variance, somewhat similar to what we did uh, with variance with regular data. So sigma squared, uh, we're going to square each of our values and then take it times the... Uh, the uh, um, probability. So 0 squared times 0 0.09 plus, I'm going to bracket this here, plus 1 squared times 0.42 plus 2 squared times 0.49 minus your mean squared. And we have, we know what the mean is, it's 1.4 minus 1.4 squared. My standard deviation, if we go ahead and simplify this, whoop, a little bit too high. So inside the brackets here, so sigma squared is equal to, you know, this is 0. 1 times, 1 squared is 1, so, so times 0.42 plus 4 times 0.49 minus uh, 1.4 squared, so that would be um, 2.38 if you go ahead and calculate that, uh, minus 1.4 squared, I'll just plug that in, and we'd have a variance of 0 0.42. Then your standard deviation is just simply the square root of that. And so your, the spread of this particular data is 0 0.65. And, or 0 0.648 if you, you know, if you think of, we're thinking of percentages, so we want to go one more decimal than we have data, probability. So 0.648 is standard deviation. And that's how you calculate it. So that's mean and standard deviation in a frequency distribution. So good luck. Hope this helps you. And uh, see you next time.